Welcome to Food News Today. Now here's a trivia question for you. What hasn't happened since 1888, and according to most calculations, won't happen again for another 77,798 years? You give up? Well, the answer is Thanksgivinga. Next week on November 28th, Thanksgiving plus Hanukkah equals Thanksgivinga. In what's literally a once-in-a-lifetime experience, this year America's favorite holiday happens to fall on the first day of Hanukkah, the eight-day Jewish Festival of Lights. This convergence of holidays has sparked everyone's imagination, so you can expect to see menorahs and dreidels sharing tables with turkeys and pumpkins. For both Thanksgiving and Hanukkah, food is important. As two major holidays merge, so will the traditional dishes. What exactly would a Thanksgivinga menu look like? Well, with just one week to go before the big day, here are a few suggestions to make your meal a truly collaborative celebration. What's Thanksgiving without turkey? So why not keep it in line with Hanukkah and deep fry it? Or if that's too heavy, try brining your turkey in kosher wine. And for some Thanksgiving stuffing, how about trying challah instead to make a challah chestnut stuffing? And if you can't have Hanukkah without potato latkes, but this year give them a Thanksgiving flair by making them sweet potato latkes and serving them with apple cranberry sauce. Next, for your Thanksgiving mashed potatoes, use some Hanukkah flavors by mixing in horseradish cream and chives. What about vegetables? Well, no problem. Tzimitz, or the Jewish version of sweet roasted vegetables, is typically made with carrots and dried fruit. So try adding some more fall produce, sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts to give it that Thanksgiving edge. And finally, if you still have room for dessert, it's easy. Try cheesecake pumpkin pie or check out BuzzFeed for the recipe for pecan pie rugula. Are you planning a Thanksgiving celebration? Well, share some of your menu ideas with us on Facebook or Twitter. We'd love to hear them. Are you sick of the sound of a smartphone's ringing and beeping? Well, forget vibrate. Here's a new alternative, the smell of bacon. Check this out. The Japanese company Senti has come up with a plug-in accessory that attaches to the headphone socket on both iPhones and Android smartphones. When the phone gets some kind of notification, it releases a burst of fragrance. Anything from rose, mint, cinnamon roll, bacon, coffee, curry, jasmine, or strawberry. There are scents for just about everything. It's a crazy idea, but hey, we love crazy ideas. If you want to know more, just check it out at Senti.com. With all the news about Kraft ditching artificial dyes and some mac and cheese products, you may be thinking, when do we start dyeing our cheese this fabulous yellow color anyway? Well, according to NPR, we can blame the farmers of old. Centuries ago, farmers used coloring from saffron, marigold, carrot juice, and later annatto to give cheese that rich yellow or orange color. Why? Well, because after realizing they could make more money by separating the butter to be sold separately, the cheese was left looking pale. In other words, farmers tricked people into thinking they were buying fabulous, rich, full-fat cheese, when in actual fat they were buying low-fat cheese that had all the buttery goodness taken out. It seems like it's about time that we went back to the concept of natural. It's that time again. Time for me to release my food trend predictions for 2014. Now from the indie woman to snacking for a better you to the new way to start your day, 2014 promises to see some exciting new trends and I'm going to share them all with you. Now don't miss out starting tomorrow on The Lemper Report. Tune in to hear my first of 10 trend predictions. That's all for this week's edition of Food News Today. I hope you'll check out our new design website at supermarketguru.com and send me a message on Facebook and Twitter and let me know how you like it. Food News Today is sponsored by ConAgra Foods, who shares with me the desire to provide the most current, interesting, and unbiased food news. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next week.